I'm really, really liking the the golden tone, like just the look of the van so far. It's I think it's looking phenomenal. I was in the middle of recording and the SD card said error and I was at the end of the video of me recording and um, yeah, now I have to re-record everything. So this is cool. Oh man. Uh, guys, I want to say at the beginning of the video here that it is is sponsored by Berna, which is the backpack behind me as well as the uh, weapon that's also down here. It is a non-lethal, um, I guess, weapon or gun. And I'm gonna show all that right now in this video. Before I show the rest of the van, I do wanna talk to you guys about Berna, which is a really cool company that again is sponsoring this video. Let's, let's kind of dive right into it. This is uh, the gun, but I'll show you that in a second. This is the backpack that they sell. I jokingly, <laughs> jokingly said to them that if you guys send me the backpack, I'll go and get shot with it. So uh, I will be doing that at the end of this video. I'm gonna be shot with their gun. I'm not gonna be shot with an actual bullet. Um, again, disclaimer, do not try this at home. I really do like this bag quite a bit, actually. It has a lot of cool stuff. It has, you know, it has all the stuff for, um, you know, first aid kit, like this stuff is, <laughs> This stuff is serious. There's a video on the Burner website that actually it's like a two minute video explaining this whole bag, what's inside of it, what it can do. And obviously their main feature, which you'll see later, is this right here, which is the front vest that'll come out and go over my body. This is heavy. This is not a light bag by any means. What do you want to do for protection? Obviously two plates that has one in the front and one in the back. I really do like this idea and this concept. You guys may be thinking to yourself, why the heck am I showing off a company like this on my channel? I think it can be used or a lot of people in the van life community would like something like this, especially what I'm about to show you. Again, this is a non-lethal projectile. And that's it right there. This is a, I didn't, they also make it in an orange version, which I kind of, I kind of like the orange version. By the way, there is no CO2 cartridge in this. It's not loaded at the moment right now. These are the balls that are just like, you know, they're a hard, I don't know if it's a rubber or a plastic of some sort. There is no CO2 cartridge in this right now. We're going to load it up later and we're going to, uh, again, have Mark uh, from Nomadic shoot me with it. They do also make a pepper spray bullet, which is or projectile. I shouldn't say bullet. It's a projectile. But again, why would I promote something like this? Well, guys, sometimes you run into bad situations and having non-lethal I guess safety measure is not a bad idea. There are a lot of people in van life that do take safety very, very, you know, seriously. If you guys have been watching my channel a while, I just had my van stolen. Luckily I wasn't hurt. I wasn't even in my van when it got stolen. And I'm not saying that I would use this on another human. What I actually like this idea for is for camping, wilderness and coming across, you know, um, possibly a, mountain lion or you know this is not going to take down a grizzly everybody but a pepper spray will definitely you know help the situation um there's also they also make an eco-friendly product as well eco-friendly projectile and that is why i wanted to show burna but you don't need a permit you can go to the website and you can read up all about it again something that you could carry in van life if you you know so desire to all right let's get back to the van and let me show you guys what's been happening let me talk about the van now um i don't remember what was in my last build series or my build videos um also i do want to say at this point that if you watch a recent video i did i'm going to be like kind of updating my playlists which are kind of really cool i'm starting atachi designs which is pretty much what is what is behind me it's all everything design features in my head uh, epoxy tables uh, artwork that i might work on uh, van building container home building anything of that nature is going to be under the umbrella of tachi designs then there's also going to be the the vlogs that i do which are you know travel and adventure or events uh the, obviously the product reviews not like today like today's video is sponsored by by them but i'll actually do dedicated product reviews and again i only want to show 
products that I believe in or that I like or that I would personally use myself. And then I obviously will always do tours. I wanna to do more tours. I wanna to do the, the van tours, the tiny home tours, the container home tours, shop tours, which I really wanna dive way more into this year. So all of that coming and uh, I'm super excited. But let's talk about really what's been going on behind me. I now have my lights are up and running. I almost positive I didn't show that in the last video. That slatted wall was, I believe, up, um, but I did not time lapse it. However, I did time lapse this wall over here. And let me show you that time lapse right now. So let me explain to you what's really going on, like what these are, like why I did this. Uh, there's also, everything's on a dimmer switch. Oh. So these are maple, dimensional maple boards. What I mean by dimensional is you can buy them at like a Home Depot or a Lowe's or where, like any like hardware store. And dimensional, these are one by two boards. Actual dimensions of a one by two are three quarters of an inch by one, one, uh, one and a half inch. Top boards right here, because they have lights on them, are actually the full size dimension. I did not cut them in half. And then this one right here is also a full size, um, I did not cut it in half because it has lights pointing down uh, on the countertop. Uh, also side note, uh, the countertops are not installed, but they're on. I showed what it was in last video. It was a, a rich light, which it's a half inch rich light. It's a uh, hard surface, recycle. I believe it's recycled paper. And also another company out there is called Paperstone. But uh, Rich Light, this was a shout out to my boy Dustin over at Overland Van Project. He was the one that hooked me up with this. It was kind of uh, extra pieces or scrap pieces that he had lying around. He also hooked me up with the uh, the wood or the, the cabinetry wood, which is an apple ply core with a high pressure laminate face. Why did I want to use a high pressure laminate? That stuff is durable. Uh, both things are relatively expensive. I, I would have bought it, but Dustin again hooked me up. Can't complain. So shout out to you, buddy. At the end of all of this, after I'm done with everything, I will do a price breakdown and I'll actually show some, some really good cost saving tips for everybody as well, because I went some really high end stuff like these maple slats. Could have went with like a pine board or a common board. It's just maple has a really, really nice like tone to it when you put an oil on it, right? So I use an Osmo as an oil finish because it has low VOC. Uh, Mark from Nomadic Customs also suggested it to me and I've used it in the past and I do like it a lot. Um, I also have a maple ceiling here. Uh, so I wanted to not mix up the wood. So maple ceiling, maple slats, and then the back is just a, um, I believe it's just a, a birch plywood that I painted black. The wall that you saw here and then this is like the part of the bed that is an indentation. I wrapped it right there. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, what is gonna go there? Well, I actually left that space open for maybe some future artwork. My dad is a really good photographer, so uh, he might print out some acrylic, you know, uh, shots that he has taken, which is gonna be, it would be really cool. I bought this one on Amazon. This is a canvas that I just purchased and then I did a uh, super spray or a spray adhesive and I just kind of adhesive, that's like my headboard. So I wanted to do that. Now you also may be asking yourself, well, Chad, what is going on down here? And what about that corner up there? I left those spaces open because you may not be able to see it, but there's a small indentation right here because of the wonderful curves of vans because nothing is straight. I was trying to wrap my brain around what the heck am I gonna do there? because it was gonna look funky if I tried to like in, indentate the slats. 
So luckily one day after a very long day, it was like seven, eight o'clock, Mark came over to say goodbye or good night or I'm leaving for the night. And I was like, hey man, do you mind just taking a look at this for me? And he looked at it and he's like, dude, why don't you just throw up some curved shelves? He's really good at making curved shelves or his, his, his crew is. He's like, I'll teach you how to make them. And I know the general understanding of how to make them, but I think having the tutelage of somebody like that would be really beneficial to me. He's going to teach me how to make those curved shelves in that space right there. And then I thought to myself, well, why don't I match it as like a catty corner or a kitty corner, whatever you want to call it, uh, to kind of make it look somewhat symmetrical. So I'm going to add a shelf there. I'm going to add a shelf there. Leave this open for any artwork or some color in here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a painting. Maybe I'll have Steffi Lee come out and do a painting for me. We'll see. I don't know. That's pretty much the game plan for this wall. If you go way back in the build series, it's interesting because I talked about in the first, like, maybe video or two, the hardest part of a van build is the first 10% and the last 10%. And I said the last 10%, at least you can leave it and then you can come back and do the detail work later. So I plan to get everything done up to the detail point of this van, the last 10% of that van. Once I am like dialed in, I will go and get my puppy, I'll come back, I'll have a clear head, I'll know it's gonna work, and I can do things like this shelf here, that shelf there. I can cover these wires with a maple strip here. I can add a partition. In the next video, I do plan on showing uh, what I'm doing here, which is a floating wall system. Now, if you remember from my last van, I'll throw up an image right now, I did a floating ceiling. I put a video out there and I have been copied on several different people's bills. Imitation is the best form of flattery. Yes, sure, why not? However, just give me credit when you guys do take my design ideas. But this is the floating wall that I'm working on right now. It's a floating partition and there will be that light right over there is actually gonna continue onto the partition. So you'll see all that go down next video because I'm really nervous to kind of get it done because it's something I haven't done before. I am really, really liking the the golden tone like just the look of the van so far it's i think it's looking phenomenal a lot happening a lot going on all right guys let's finish off the video with mark from nomadic customs actually shooting me with a rubber bullet or a projectile or whatever you want to call it from uh berna i just hope i don't get hurt and, uh if i haven't already here's a disclaimer do not try this at home please that'll be the end of the video but let's finish it off strong with that <laughs> Here we go. I found this motorcycle like helmet, so I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> Good idea. Later on the shop, did you test it? No. Just don't shoot me in the eyes. Am I all loaded and ready? Where's your chest piece? Yeah, you gotta put the chest piece on. Are oh, you yeah. shooting him in the back? Yeah, in the back. I mean, guys, you something. guys can all feel this. This thing's lethal. It's not, it, nothing's gonna penetrate. I saw a Kevlar. Yeah, man. So, I'm not getting shot with a real <laughs> bullet here. Sit, stand right back there. And we're all ready to go? I think so. Do you want me to stand by you getting shot or by the shooter? I don't care. As long as you can <laughs> Please, no. I don't hit me from the waist down. I'm not gonna. You want to put a board up or something? Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> Go up against the wall. You can hit the board? You think you can hit the chest piece? Saturday yeah. night shop shenanigans. <laughs> I can hit the chest piece. It pulls to, pulls to the right. Is this where we want it? Like I don't care where. You can stand back a little bit. Okay. Um, stand back some. Stand it's back. it's going to reflect. Yeah, oh. it, it, it could ricochet back, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's got a pretty good... I like how Hank does this It's going gonna, it's gonna to ricochet up and down, probably. Okay, you ready? No! You wanna look at me while I do this? No! <laughs> look at him in the eyes! You gotta look at me in the eyes, dude. Stone cold. Stone cold. Oh, dude, this is a bad idea. Alright, you ready? No! Okay, here we go. Three, two. Ah, oh, it, didn't, it didn't shoot. No, because I'm Three, two. Dude, are you loaded? Yeah. I put it in the magazine. Oh man, that's fucking nerve wracking. <laughs> Which one is red? Is there different types of We're ones? not shooting the pepper ball ones, right? No, I don't think those are pepper. No. No, you had a pepper ball yeah, one. Yeah, there's no no, it's not in the loaded. Alright, dude. This is dumb. Here we go. Three, two. <laughs> oh, 
ricochet. You hit the side of the thing. <laughs> it hit the it hit the shield first. Luckily, <laughs> that's gonna leave a mark. That's the review, everybody. It pulls to the right, or you just have a. a by the way, Mark has actually won award for being a marksman. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. I could feel that. Finishing up the edit of the uh, of this recent video, I realized that I knew didn't really like give a, an end of the story here. I am fine. There was actually a very not even a mark on my arm. Uh, it ricocheted. It hit the chest pad and it ricocheted off and hit me in the arm. Really cool product though, and it's it's made to definitely save you uh in in any event check out the link to the that company below it's late here at night and i'm tired and i just want to let everybody know that i am fine don't worry about me so i will see you guys next time later